how many solar panels should you buy? My advice on this has changed over the years because solar panels continue to fall in price, grid electricity continues to go up in price, and happily, last year, July 2017, feed-in tariffs for a lot of people rose sharply, and for me, happily they doubled. So I'm now getting 16 cents, simply feeding excess solar into the grid. So to cut a long story short, what this means is if you have a single phase house, single phase supply, which is most of us, you should get a five kilowatt inverter, which is the maximum you're generally allowed, and you should put 6.6 .6 kilowatts of panels on that inverter. It's called inverter oversizing, and you can read about why that's a good idea on my website. Basically, it gives you the most bang for buck. It gives you the most kilowatts per dollars. And if you're getting a good feed-in tariff, which I would define as over about 10 cents a kilowatt hour, that will absolutely, on all the numbers I've run, give you the best return. Now, if you have a three-phase supply, you can go really big. You can go up to 20 kilowatts of panels and 15 kilowatts of inverters. And that's starting to get crazy big. You'd need a bloody big roof to fit 20 kilowatts on. So if you've got three phase, that's when you start looking at your electricity consumption, but be warned, only your electricity consumption during the day. How much electricity you use at night when the sun's not shining is irrelevant because you can't self-consume that without a battery. And we're talking about solar without batteries here. So if you have a three phase supply, talk to your installer about how much energy you use during the day. At a minimum, get 6.6 .6 kilowatts with a five kilowatt inverter, but feel free to go all the way up to 20 kilowatts if you fit it, you run the numbers with your installer. If you get a good feed-in tariff, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the return.